Hey guys, DJ here. Welcome back to today's video. All right, today is an updated favorites video. I have a bunch of my products right in front of me, like my current go-to products that I use for my everyday glam. Kitty. Kitty is scratching at the door. Boo! So yeah, we're gonna be talking about my favorite go-to at the moment products, like I, I ride or dies. I cannot live without them. But before we get started, Go ahead and subscribe and like the video and leave a comment below. Do you like any of these products? What are your favorite go-to products that you just, you need them in your routine? Don't worry, I got info on this look, don't worry. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with my favorites at the moment products. Do, do, do. Let's get started. Before we talk about the makeup, let me show you two favorite clothing items. Um, I don't know if, if you know me personally, then you know the one right now. Right here, Genshin Impact. I got this Genshin Impact Razor t-shirt. Razor is like my current character I play as in the game. And this shirt, like it's on the back as well. Have I ever gotten up and showed you my ass? But yeah, so Razor is on the shirt. I also got this hoodie with my other favorite character, Chi Chi on it, so hold up like this. Look at Chi Chi, I love her so much. She is amazing. I like, can't live without her in the game. And then on the front of it, it has a Chi Chi in like that lighting. It's it's pretty big. They're available on lightinthebox.com or they have an app. This was only like thirteen dollars, and that hoodie was like twenty. Like, and they shipped from China in like two weeks. But like for that cheap, but yeah, Genshin Impact. If you play Genshin Impact, you can leave your UID down below. Maybe we can play my favorite game all the time. But yeah, basically, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start off with, like, primer. I didn't pull it. It's right here. My fern, current, I still use the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. That was what I had primer for today. But normally, I don't know if have I have. We use this in the e.l.f. video. The e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is, like, a Milk Hydro Grip Primer dupe. And this is only $8. This is, like, the best. It smells like mint chocolate. <sighs> To me, it smells like mint chocolate. Hydrates the skin, um, leaves a tacky base for foundation to stick, and it does help just, like, smooth out the face as well. And, and it kind of has a cooling effect, but it's not too much. But it's amazing. $8, mint melt. You can get this at Walmart. 8 bucks. My favorite primer, along with the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. <laughs> Deep breaths. You know I'm weird. You guys know this. If you're watching, it's like, what the fuck? He's weird. No shit sherlock holmes detective i'm weird anyways let's go to foundation i still still will not stop the juvia's place i am magic foundation this one is like basically almost out i have a fresh one don't worry this in combination with the l'oreal freshwear these two if you have oily skin like me this is the combination or i mean you could still do the juvia's by itself which i've done before and it's fine but if i want my if i want my skin to feel better throughout the day i will combine these if i'm only gonna have it on for a couple hours then i'll just do the juvia's like a little goes a long way this is the fullest of coverage i'm just saying this is <laughs> I mean, my face is pretty covered right now, too. It's also pretty blushy bronze, too. Anyways, but yeah, Juvia's Place. I Am Magic Foundation is only $20. This one's about, like, $11 or $12. And then we get a little bougie. I got this last year when I went to Vegas with Kizzy. Actually, you guys can see that video. It's in the channel. Going to Vegas. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I just started using this again. I do have it on the skin right now. I've had it on since about 9.30, 9, 9.30 a.m. I do look a little shinier i did have i did put on like a shiny blush for a change Ugh, look at that color right there I, I was like let me do the neck look at that's a color separation <laughs> but now you don't know but um this is like 38 or i think 40 dollars. but this shit is so good full coverage um it definitely kind of sets itself it has like a squeeze top um in a way, like, yeah, it kind of does set itself a little bit where you don't have to do as much powder. I still plop, 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 plop on the powder because oil. But this foundation is amazing. Love. I mean, if you want, like, this type of combo in a way, 
and but a little more lightweight this foundation would be the one i like it out of the other ones um the radiant foundation or the sheer one now this for oily skin is beautiful it's like a bougie version of that now let's go into concealers i still ride or die the elf hydrating camo um yeah it, it's don't worry it's not old or gross it's just like the product is getting there it's like that's how as you can tell i've used a lot of it this is an amazing concealer it's full coverage even though i have oily skin i have the regular camo concealer which gives basically the same amount of coverage it just doesn't feel as drying because the other one is kind of drying it's closer to shape tape this people say is a good dupe for the tart um the tart shape tape creamy formula and so this is six dollars so you can't beat it for the coverage and it just is amazing if you're like very oily like my friend kizzy then use the regular camo concealer but me i'm oily to the point where i can get away with using this and i do like it better elf hydrating camo concealer amazing bougie concealer i just recently got turned on to this a couple months ago the one size turn of the base butter silk concealer i obviously heard about this because i saw it on patrick's page i follow patrick star it's his brand but i saw most of, i saw some drag race girls be partnering with one size to show off the concealer some of them were using it as foundation which i have before it worked pretty good but i like it as an under eye concealer this is the shade light three I haven't been talking about the shades of everything. This is Cairo. Um, this one's 435. The NARS one is Salzburg. And this e.l.f. concealer is Fair Warm. This one is in light uh, light 3N. So they'll have like the light. I don't know if you can read that. Light RN. So they have neutral, golden, um, uh, stuff. They have different colored undertones, so you can really find your shade. Mine's under the neutral one. I always get a neutral or concealer. This one does appear like it has a touch more yellow in it, but it is under the eyes. Um, I used to be really into a bright ass under eye, so lately I have been more leaning towards using something closer to the skin tone because if anything is going to be bright i can just brighten it up with a powder so that's why i really like this this is definitely a nice full coverage more it is leaning like the slightest to medium to full but it builds up great it blends out nice i can show you the applicator for this one it's like this it's kind of angled in a way it's not like a it's not like a typical dofa but it has enough product on there I love the red chrome packaging. I mean, one size is great. That's that. Here, let me show you the applicator for the Elf. This is kind of like a shape tape applicator. It's just like, it's like a fat doe foot. It's basically the same size. But those, those concealers. And now another bougie concealer. I use this to cut my brows on um, today. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So obviously the foundation and the concealer. These are just amazing. This one is in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. Um, I've gotten some good use out of it. I don't know if you can tell. It's You can't really tell if it's divoted in. But I definitely use this a lot. This is full ass coverage too. I'll, I did a little bit under the eye before I did the one size. Just so I can maximize the coverage. You can't tell that there's blue under there at all but this is like 30 something maybe it's just really good it just covers so good actually Michaela on tiktok these are Michaela's lashes from glam light Ding. she used this as a spot concealer before her foundation and it just covered everything so great this is definitely something if you want to cover like a spot concealer or for cutting brows this is a good one there's also a nyx one that juicy jazz really likes so if you find that one you want to save money get that it's much cheaper this one i was already doing it after pay with it doing um get whatever getting the foundation for me and for kizzy in that video i just did it all in one but amazing concealer <sighs> deep breaths deep breaths <sighs> there we go we're good so let's go into powder actually i meant to pull out this other one honey <laughs> hold on so let me start off with the powder compact so i used to use the i had my it cosmetics powder foundation i used it up uh, essentially me and my ruby's mom we were sharing it De deja gave it to me we were using it it's so good but we ran out i used up a lot of it like whenever i used to do makeup on my face without putting on foundation i would pack on that powder i needed to get a refill so i didn't get that one actually i was told about the maybelline superstay powder foundation because the liquid is amazing the concealer i haven't tried the concealer like under my eyes i do have a concealer that's for contouring and it's pretty good this powder looks really nice on the skin i did touch up my under eyes with this um like an hour or two ago you can't really 
tell because like my face is crazy but this is amazing I open it up it has a little puff right there and i tried to do like the trick on like tiktok you go Vroom. i mean it did look pretty good there's a mirror right there this is the shade classic ivory it's the same as my foundation this is like under ten dollars and this is just an amazing powder foundation um if you want the bougie version which is basically really good too um the one size um powder foundation that's like this is like the dupe for it and they're both amazing that's awesome recommend that let's go back to one size i love one size you guys i'm telling you even everything this is the one size um what is it called the ultimate setting powder this is the translucent one i have the travel one i still use this one this is awesome i love using this especially when i'm using the concealer i didn't use it today but i do use it a lot it, you open it up and the powder is right there it doesn't really have a scent it's like like if cody if cody airspun like a huff into it that's kind of like the smell this is awesome i think this is like this is a mini this is like 15 to 20 or something like that because it's a smaller size awesome but you guys know this one the go to my number one setting powder of all time i can't live without this one you guys i can't live without it kimchi cuff, cuff <laughs> kimchi puff puff pass set and bake powder the shade peachy it's closer to like a foundation color i use this to set my whole face honey this is the best powder like if you can tell if i was to like tap everything to the end you can tell how much powder i've used i don't know if you can tell but like it's like mostly empty right there until you get to right here just like if you do that yeah that's how much powder is left i've gone through this powder it is just the best it even came with a powder puff which i haven't washed i don't know what's the best way to wash a powder puff can you just throw it in the wash but this powder has a cute little heart sifter right there this powder just locks in your liquids um if you have the right shade you can bake with it too i just it's like 20 something but um kimchi is just bomb with her products her concealer i didn't include in this just because i love the other two more even though that one is amazing that was my first like brow cutter concealer that's awesome but the powder holy shit you don't look cakey you're set for the day Ugh. <laughs> cannot talk so much more because that's so amazing but what once we got our little thing set for brows i don't really have anything new for brows i still use dip brow and i still use my raw beauty christie pure palette for my brows still do that um looking on the line right here let's talk about um bronzer i do have a new bronzer i really love i got this one i was in vegas um still use the fenty one still use the hip dot one with the blush in it but right now this morphe glamour bronze glamour blah, blah, blah. The Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in Originator. This is the shade Originator. This was on sale for $8 at the Morphe store when I was in Vegas, so I had to get it. That's the powder. coming. It's basically a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Tantastic, which I have as well, which I haven't used that in a while. But this gives nice color. It blends out really nice. And this will last forever because it's such a big pan. But I did use the bronzer. Over. I did the bronzer first, and then uh, we'll get into blush because I have a lot of blush on. I used to hate blush. I used to think it made me red, but now I'm obsessed with it because, yeah, that one was $8. It's awesome. These were also at um, TJ Maxx. I saw today they were $10, but obviously I still have mine. It's going to last forever. But let me tell you the best blush ever. My The best blush to me was that kimchi one in the heart pan, the Thaler blush, until I broke it as I dropped it. I didn't even know how it happened. Uh, before that was Juvia's, but right now the number one blush in my life Trixie Cosmetics, the Mod About You, let me show you, this is my favorite one, the Mod About You blush palette. Uh, this, if you want to know what kind of blushes I love, it's these two, like these corally peachy tangerine blushes. This is a highlighter that's in there too. Um, you got Plush Bunny and Go Go Girl, and then this one is called Gleamsicle. This is my favorite one from Trixie. This is, I have the Summer of Love, the, the Back to the Fuchsia. I'll show you the new one in a sec, but this one it's just uh the cheek the chic cheeks for the it girl i mix both of these or sometimes just use plush bunny but this it's like 28 dollars. you get three blushes well two blushes and a highlighter it's amazing 
this is my go-to blush for any look and it has such cute packaging and it comes in a little sleeve are you serious how adorable um then the newest one that just came out this is the just a girl blush palette your other blush is like so whatever but yeah this is the newest one now this normally her blushes do not aren't at all have much fallout this middle shade definitely did have a lot of fallout um but it's still good that one's called total betty cult classic and moxie um i started with this one basically and then i used the darker one like around my forehead i was trying to fill in some gaps and so i used that to fill it in and then i went over with this shinier highlighter it's really pretty look at that it gives you like it's like a shiny blush slash hider it's like a blush lighter um i'm gonna swatch it next to these other swatches i'll show you but um yeah these are very pigmented they do have a little more fallout than the other ones but it's still really pretty i have the video coming for this very soon actually it'll already be up it's gonna be up before this one but um let me show you uh as i was curious that light color is my morphe bronzer that is that dark shade in the blush palette and that's that highlighter so like as you can tell i this mixed in pretty decently it looks like i have um sunburn but it's pretty sunburned but yeah those two colors essentially mixed in the forehead and that shiny blush lighter i did put kind of over a little bit you can see the glow but um thought that was really fun now <laughs> whatever so going into highlighter Normally, I use my Sarcophagus JSC highlighter, or I'm using my Kimchi highlighter palette, but this new thing from Kimchi, um, we actually, you guys already know about this, the collection video I did with Kimchi X Plastic, the face palette. I still love this. I used a little, I used this the last time I put on face, but this is the Kimchi Plastic Tiara face palette. Oh my God. Like I said, I showed you the blushes I love. You already know that is like the color i love in blushes my highlight today is these two mixed together it's it looks sort of soft now but like it was blinding earlier today until i put on the blush but these two highlighters are literally uh i'll swatch them on my hand it's kind of hard to tell but like usually they get they become a little more blinding when you apply them to the face but they're so pretty these blushes are pretty those bronzers i mix them because one i mean they both kind of look the same when i did the video but i still mix them the blushes are gorgeous this face palette is just stunning i don't know if it's still in stock but it's just so beautiful i love this so much the box that it came in with plastique on it with kim it's amazing i love it uh how oh, it nose is tickly <sighs> let's go on to eyeshadow now so eyeshadow courtesy today this is the eye look i have on today i'll show you the palette it's very pink and green this is from the trixie cosmetics plant gay palette <sighs> this came out like a month, month or two ago i'm finally able to snag it you slide it open and that's what it looks like i used this palette today i used these two pinks, this one to start with, that one to deepen it with, and then I did this light green and dark green mixed together on the lower lash line. The lid um, is this glitter in combination with a shade from the Naked Tutorials Beauty Bay palette because this was just like a glittery kind of formula, but they blended really nicely. The colors story is so beautiful. The packaging is so cute. Uh, it's really gay, just like she says, plain gay. Time for a floricultural reset. It's just a gorgeous, colorful spring palette. I mean, I still like it. You know, this is like amazing. Oh, the shade name of this pink. Okay, Bloomer. Okay, Bloomer. Like, that is genius. I love the box that it comes in because you put it back in. So it comes out and then it just goes in like that. I think it's like eco-friendly packaging. Decided just to keep it in the box because it's neater. <sighs> Another palette. So I still will use uh, from time to time. I still use the Tati palette for like the glitter. I still use my Norvina palettes. <sighs> but this one, <laughs> this one has won my heart. It has everything I need. And I'm excited to be able <laughs> to meet this person when I go to Drag Con next year. <laughs> so the Be Perfect Cosmetics Scepter palette with the Vivian. The Vivian was on Drag Race UK, and she did this palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics. It's literally everything. This palette is one, this is like everything a drag queen needs. Like a white, a black, some highlighters. A, I mean, maybe not the blush and bronzer for every skin tone, but like you can do everything with this. Like this palette 
I paid no more than 50 for this and it came from the UK, but this, uh, can we just talk about how, like, this is literally, this is the new James Charles palette. I, which I still have, but this is, I may not use that glitter right there, maybe, but like everything else, this is just so stunning and everything. I recommend if you want like one big palette for traveling and you can utilize some of those shades there, then go for it because this is literally everything. This is all you're going to need. This is literally just a great all around palette. The Vivian, throw away the rule book, use every color, wear your crown and rain. But um, yeah, this is just here. Well, we got to look at it one more time. <sighs> It's everything. It's everything, guys. That's that palette. Um, that's, yeah, that's really my go-to one. If now we can talk about um, lip products. So if you're curious about the lip I have on today. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I had on the nude today. Got here. I was like, I'm going to do this video. Let's put on a bold pink. So <laughs> today I, I didn't really have like a pink lip liner. So I used my House Labs, uh, House Labs Lay Monster Matte Lip Crayon and Hot Rod. I did use this. It's basically a matte lip matte lipstick, essentially. I used this to help line with. And then I went in with the Moreau Regime Cosmetics Mighty Mouser Liquid Lipsticks from my friend Lauren. She owns this company. Get your lipsticks from her. Maybe I'll put, I'll, I'm going to put the link down below or you can purchase this. It's um formulated to, to basically stay on because she plays, um what do you call it? Is it Roller Derby? I think that's what it's called. The the movie uh, Whip It. Is it that movie that does it? You know, the, what the, you look it up. I forgot what it's called. But um, it just formulated to stay on. I did that, the lip crayon, and then I topped it with this Jouer lip topper. Um, this is the Jouer lip topper. Oh, yeah, this is the one that Jeffrey did years ago. I found this at TJ Maxx, and it was like $3. Yeah, I just wanted something hot pink to be able to put on a hot pink lip. It looks like I have gloss on, but it's a lip topper. But, like, it'll still transfer. Still going to transfer because it's that's just the formula. Um... Normally, here's a go-to lip liner that I'm obsessed with, the Morphe Sugar Pie uh, Liner. It's really called a color pencil. You can use these anywhere, but most people use these just for lips. These are like five bucks, and they're amazing. The color, let's uh, wipe this off, and I'll do the color for you, like, right here. That's the color of the lip liner. It's just a, it's for me, it's a deep enough, like, brown pink so that I can pair it with any <laughs> lip color. Now going on to liquid lipsticks. I love, I, I didn't think I was gonna love these the way I do, but the Lunar Beauty lip products, these liquid lipsticks, I'll show you the gloss. This is the shade Daydream. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I love this so much. Let me show you. This is, that's the color. It's like peachy nude touch deep i definitely use that lip liner with it it's just so pretty and because this next one is because of raw beauty christie is why i got it the lunar beauty dreamy lip gloss she loves this lip gloss i see her put it on all the time and when i got it and i started wearing it i finally get now why it's just it's just a shiny wet gloss it's, and it look at you can tell it still has a little color to it it's just like when you put it up to the light, it has a lot of shine to it. it. This is actually a good pairing right here, the liner, the liquid lip, and the gloss. And now the liquid lip doesn't, it doesn't seem like it fully dries down to a matte, but it, it doesn't really dry down, but it's, it sets to like a comfortable feeling. It's not going to really be transfer proof, but it's okay if you're going to put on a gloss, it won't matter. But um, that currently right now is just a beautiful combo. Let's clean that off so we don't forget. They also, um... They come off pretty easily, which is awesome. Besides those, let's go to lashes. Um, I still wear the Michaela Glam Light lashes. Um, they're on right now. They're just really dramatic. I We need to go back to Miss Tori G, and I need to get some more lashes from her. I've been really lazy and bad. I need to get over there because I still have the box for right here. One of them, they were just, they were just, I've been, I overused them a lot. You remember these guys with the stones in them? I need to get another pair. I mean, we need to get some more, honey. She is an amazing uh, brand owner. She is life. Definitely go. 
those are worth it. Right now, I've just been wearing these ones so much because Glamlight's a great brand and Michaela's amazing um, TikToker. I have a video on her collection in my catalog. And now for these, these changed my life. Thank you, Lisa Villain, my coworker. This Kiss Magnetic Lash Kit. Now these are very natural lashes. These, when I had them on, um, actually I had, did I have them on in the video? I think I did. They literally, it's like my lashes, but better. It looks like I had, it just looks like my la my natural lashes are just a little bit bigger and they look more put together. Literally, you put the liner on like how I did with my regular liner. It dries and then you literally put those on and it just snaps right on. It's, I don't know how it does it, but it makes putting on lashes so much easier. I do want to get these in like a bigger dramatic pair because they were just, they just were awesome. I don't know how much this is, but they were awesome. I'm glad Lisa didn't want them and she gave it to me. These are amazing. Love. Um, is what else? There's something, there's some other things. Oh, eyeliners. I've been using my house labs one more. That's what I used. To, well, today I mixed these two colors. I have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Electric Daisy and the House Labs Liner in Grime. I did these two. It's basically like a Kelly Green, essentially. It's these two colors I did. It's kind of hard to tell. It's been wearing off a little bit. I mean, most eyeliners, it's hard for my eyes. They'll tend to water sometimes, so it's kind of hard for an eyeliner to stay in my waterline. Most people, they don't have a problem, but me, it's kind of harder. But that's that setting spray i did have the one size setting spray the mattifying one i did return it because i i used it it worked great and it was awesome it worked and uh, yes it was only 15 dollars, but i'm like i am probably not gonna end up buying the full one so i was like i don't really need this and i still have so many other setting sprays um i that to use up i just finished my urban decay all nighter one in the fat bottle so i'm gonna end up using that bottle for my makeup remover liquid oh uh, yeah right here the all nighter pollution protection setting spray there's like barely nothing left in here. I'm just going to put my makeup remover in here because that's what I have with my other bottle. But right now, always a go-to Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. <laughs> Got the regular black one right here. They make this in a jumbo, like two of these together. It's like a, like, it's like a fatter bottle. I'm like, I kind of want to get the big one. These are only $16. This is a holiday packaging from the last holiday collection. That's what it looks like every day. I also have the When Saweetie collabed with Morphe. This is hers, the, the, the Sweet Peach one. This smells pretty good. But um, I really love the Morphe setting. As you can tell, I have three of them. They're just amazing. Love, love, love. I've gone through them. The mattifying one, they need to really fix the mister on it because let me show you. I want to do a mist. Because the mattifying one, when you missed it, it squirts out a line. This, look at this. Come here, look, watch. I'm going to put it on my face. It's literally the, ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch your eyes, guys. But that literally, it's the best mister for a setting spray. It's just a mist. It's just like a very fine mist, as you saw. Amazing. That's my... One of my go-tos. Another go-to I still use all the time, the Mac Fix Plus. I have the lavender one. I use this one a lot. As you can tell, I'm basically at half. I use that one all the time. If you're oily, um, love the Kimchi one, Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. This one's amazing if you have oilier skin. This is awesome. Do I have anything else? That, oh, still obsessed with the Laneige Lip Sleep Mask. I put this on my lips while I'm getting ready or before I go to bed or just as a lip balm during the day. This is the Gummy Bear one. I have the Apple Lime one. It's in my locker at work because I like to have something at work to put on my lips, like after break, when I'm about to start, you know, stuff like that. This is like $20, but it's worth every dime. This will, like, change your lips for the best. Love, love, love. Ah! It fell. Boo. Oh, here, let's show Boo. This is my favorite of the month. It's Boo. You guys see Boo? He's gotten so big. Don't freak out if I'm holding you. He's gonna, he's like, yeah, he can't be held for too long, but I will show you off. He's trying to move. He's trying to go, but look at the baby. He's okay, Boo. He's okay, your Boo Boo. I'll let him do whatever he wants. But, um, essentially, oh, let me show you something else. Glitter wise. The Anastasia Glitter Glue, it's called the Glitter Adhesive. This is amazing. With this glitter, um, if, I don't know, I, if you, 
if some of you know when i was in atlanta i had on that blue and that purpley eyeshadow with that blue bright glitter that's what this glitter is in the shade keep palm from anastasia literally great glitter glue i've never really used loose glitter like that before but i made it work and it's really pretty it looks blue but see where you see the teal reflect that's what it really looks like on the eyes is that teal reflect amazing glitter um i think that really covers it all and we're about to hit 30 minutes on this video those are all like my favorite go-to current products at the moment oh my sponge i'm obsessed with the eco tools um biodegradable sponge that's my current sponge that i use all the time this uh, like oh uh, but yeah that's it i'm looking around and i think that's all of it that's it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching and checking it out like i said don't forget to subscribe um yeah have a good day from wherever you are and always stay fierce Mwah. goodbye